Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. The Indian Navy has been working alongside with ADA to indigenously develop a deck-based fighter aircraft which can operate from its aircraft carriers. Even though Navy has withdrew formally from LCA program, it continues to work with ADA on development of naval LCA as most of its technology will be used in TEDBF aircraft. Indian Navy has set Naval Project Office at Bengaluru, which was initially coordinating the LCA Navy project and is now monitoring the TEDBF progress. The initial prototypes of Naval LCA, which is NP-1 and NP-2, were the Air Force fighter jets converted into a naval variant. However, NP-5 is designed especially for Navy's requirement. In August 2023, the NP-5 performed its maiden test flight. The aircraft incorporates the production standard airframe and rainwater compliance maintainability improvements as well as futuristic system advancement. The off-nominal landing trials to be conducted using NP-5 and analysis of various stress points will be crucial for development of the landing gears for TEDBF. So the Distinguished features of Naval LC is its robust landing gear and arrestor hook which is used during the landing. While LC Navy is a good technical demonstrator, it could not fulfill the high endurance and payload mission requirement of Indian Navy which led to the clean slate design of Naval deck based fighter aircraft called TEDBF. The LCA Navy will still be useful for naval aviators training and give them the first-hand experience of landing and takeoff from the deck of an aircraft carrier. The TEDBF is being designed to undertake long endurance missions greater than 2 hours and strike range of greater than 400 nautical miles. The design of TEDBF looks similar to Rafale, however there are many differences if we observe them closely. Only the shape is similar but wings and canard dimension as well as their positions are different from that of Rafale. TEDBF will be powered by 2G F414 engine which is more powerful than the engine of Rafale. The foldable wing design of TEDBF further gives another advantage over Rafale as it allows aircraft to fit comfortably inside the lift of the aircraft carrier and reduce the stowage requirement. During Aero India 2023, Girish S. Deodhare, Director General of ADA has told that wing folding design mechanism of TEDBF has been finalized. TEDBF has undergone series of design changes and these were visible even during Aero India Show 2023. The earlier design of TEDBF has showcased the unfolded wingspan of 11.2 meters and folded wingspan of 7.6 meters. As per the new specification, the unfolded wingspan is of 11.6 meters and folded wingspan of 8.3 meters. The overall wingspan has been increased by 0.4 meter and the new wing area of TEDBF is 53.5 square meters. The larger wing area has its own advantage. It allows the aircraft to displace more air because of which the aircraft has low wing load, that is large wing area relative to its mass, which in turn helps the aircraft to achieve lower stalling speed, which means an aircraft with lower wing loading will be able to take off and land at lower speed or will be able to take off with a greater payload. These requirements are very crucial for a deck-based fighter aircraft, which is limited by the runway length of the aircraft carrier. Another change observed is in the overall length of aircraft, which was earlier reported to be 16.3 meters and has been increased to 17 meters. The height of aircraft is going to be 5.65 meters. The images of TEDBF from ADA presentation in October 2023 shows further changes in weapon payload configuration. The Astra pylon, which was shown under fuselage of aircraft, has moved closer to the wing body joint as you can see in the image. Another change observed is in the specification, which was related to its flight altitude. Earlier a specification showed aircraft to have an altitude of 60,000 feet but now as per new specification it is 55,000 feet. The new design seems to be much more refined incorporating the features of 
Amka as well as the fall. Some visible changes are also noticeable in the nose cone and DSI intake, which looks much refined for reduced radar cross section. Besides the changes in a specification, few more details were shared about Ted BF aircraft. It will have a network centric warfare capability with multi sensor data fusion integrated with advanced sensors like AEC radar, IRST, Unified Electronic Warfare Suite, and Missile Approach Warning Systems. The aircraft will have maximum takeoff weight of 26 tons with external payload of 7.5 ton where it can carry weapons and drop tanks. The aircraft will have 12 hard points. Now, talking about its development timeline, AD is expecting funding clearance from Cabinet Committee on Security for TEDBF program. Once it is approved, it will take another 4 to 4.5 years for rollout of the first prototype. If funding approval is granted in 2023-24, the first prototype can be expected to be around 2028-29 and a fighter jet can enter into production by 2032. The development cost of TEDBF is estimated to be around 14,000 crore rupees for the four prototypes. Speaking on the sidelines of Aero India, the Naval Chief Admiral R. Harikumar has said that Navy may get up to 45 TEDBF by the year 2040. This was today's update. Please let us know your views on this in comment section. If you like the video, do not forget to like, share and subscribe. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind. We'll be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector.